all, welcome to our channel. Who is U.S. Open 2024 men's singles champion Genix Sinner's girlfriend Anna Kalinskaya? All you need to know about the tennis star. The world number 14 Russian put on her best performance yet in singles at all four Grand Slams in 2024. Social media was set ablaze as 18th world no. One and two-time Grand Slam champion Janik Sinner started dating Russian tennis star Anna Kalinskaya in April this year. They have been repeatedly seen together in public and have also been rooting for each other, sitting in the stands during matches. There were rumors of the two having parted ways last month. However, it was later confirmed that the news of the split was untrue. Anna was even present at the U.S. Open 2024 final on Sunday and gave Sinner a kiss after his victory. Janik Sinner was once asked about Kalinskaya during a press conference in May at the French Open, to which he responded, I'm with Anna, yes, but we keep everything very confidential. You know my confidentiality. I won't say more. Anna, meanwhile, had revealed that a few footballers have been sending her private messages on social media which she has been ignoring. Anna was born in Moscow to two professional badminton players. Wielding a racket ran in her veins. At the age of 14, she moved to the USA to pursue tennis. After making France her abode for a while, she returned to Moscow. She had a stellar junior record, winning eight titles each in singles and doubles. She won the 2016 Australian Open in doubles, apart from ending as the runner-up at the 2015 French Open in singles and the 2015 U.S. Open in doubles. The Russian had a highest combined junior ranking of number three. Also read Nick Kurgios receives backlash for second-serve comment on Anna Kalinskaya, Janik Sinner's girlfriend. Anna made her Grand Slam debut in 2017, making an appearance at the Australian Open qualifiers in singles where she lost in the first round. She also made her debut for Russia in the Fed Cup the same year, securing victory in a doubles match. She made her Grand Slam main draw debut in singles at the Australian Open 2018 and replicated the same in the U.S. Open, losing in the first round in both tournaments. While she failed to qualify in singles in the remaining Grand Slams, she made her Grand Slam doubles debut at the French Open with fellow Russian Ekaterina Makarova. The year 2019 was a landmark one for Anna. She won her first Vite Tour title, winning the Prive Open with Slovak Victoria Kuzmov. She then entered the Wimbledon main draw for the first time. This was followed by her first Vite Tour singles semifinal appearance, defeating the likes of Olympic champion Monica Puig and France's Kristina Mladenovic, before losing to eventual champion Jessica Pegula. What followed was even more sensational, as she stunned local favorite and then world number 10 Sloan Stephens in the first round of the U.S. Open, before crashing out in the second round. She reached the third round of the tournament in doubles, partnering Yulia Putintseva. She also made her top 100 debut in singles and doubles. The next two years saw Anna struggling with performances, and a resurgence in the second half of 2021 was required to bring her back on track. While 2022 was devoid of VTA Tour titles, she had quite a few impressive performances, including a victory against the then world number no. six, Czech Karolina Pliskova, in the second round of the Miami Open. She came close to breaking into the top 50 that year. In November 2023, Anna won her first WTA 125 in Midland at the Greater Midland Tennis Center. Anna has hit a purple patch in 2024. She put on her career best performance in all four majors. Having never reached the third round of a Grand Slam in singles before this, Anna took three leaps forward. She entered the quarterfinals of the Australian Open tournament, which coincidentally marked Sinner's first Grand Slam title before losing to eventual runner-up Shang Kinwin in three sets. With this performance, she managed to enter the top 50. The Russian then had another sensational run in the WTA 1000 Dubai Championships, where she entered as a qualifier. In round to the final, she defeated former French Open champion Jelena Ostapenko, before defeating two stars of the game in straight sets. 
Coco Goff, and world number one Iva Swiatek. Finishing as the runner-up, she managed to enter the top 25 in the ATP rankings. Anna then again defeated Ostapenko at the Miami Open, securing her fifth win over a top 10 player in a span of three months, becoming just the fourth player outside the top 20 to achieve this feat in this century. She followed it up with her first ever Roland Garros women's singles main draw victory, but lost in three sets in the second round against Bianca Andreescu. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.